Howdy, we're going to be checking out version control, um, RCS version control actually. Uh, RCS is a good application for team programmers or anyone that's working in a network of programmers because it allows you to check in and out and lock and unlock your um, files so that nobody edits it while you're working on it. Um, this is good, for instance, if say you're working on a file and say your friend's working on the same file and then you save and then your other friend saves at this well after you save all your stuff just got erased because the two were working on it at the same time this actually locks it so that only one person can work on it at a time the only issue with this is that if you do happen to lock it and you leave your computer for a long amount of time then chances are that your friend's going to be mad at you because you locked him out of it but luckily there's a way to force unlock uh, an RCS locked file. So, before I get into this tutorial, if you would like to check out my blog, um, pacelinux.wordpress.com, you can actually just follow the tutorial there, or you can sit through this video and watch me go through it. So, first, let's go into our terminal. So, pull up a terminal, and you're going to want to go to a directory that has uh, your files in it that you want to edit. So mine's programming. So CD to your uh, directory. Maybe I put capital. There we go. So you CT CD to it. Um, I'm not exactly sure if you have RCS installed already, so I might as well show you that. sudo apt get install RCS. I already have mine in there, so I don't have to worry about that. But I think it's standard with Ubuntu. too. Um, if not, now you know how to install it. So, to check what files are in my uh, programming file folder, you do ls-la, which shows everything. I have a file in there called clockdisplay.java. Um, we're going to be setting that up to have RCS uh, control on it. So, before we do any of that, we need to make a directory. So, mk. Or mk Dir, dir, and then you're going to type rcs all capital um, that's going to make a directory um, called obviously rcs which saves your control logs in um, it's easier just to put it in there versus it being in the same file folder as the rest of your files um, now that we have that set we're going to be checking in our uh, clock display Java file. So you're going to do ci-u and then clock display. Um, ci stands for check-in, dash u stands for unlock. Um, you don't have to worry about unlock right now, but I'll explain that in a few minutes. Um, I'll just press enter and you'll see here that you need to type something. Um, pretty much right here you just want to put a description of what this file is. So we're just going to do clock display it's pretty redundant because your file already is called that but you press enter it's going to do this again and you press period and that will save it so now you can see we have revision 1.1 1 .1. um, if you go into your RCS folder and you do a ls-la you actually see that now there is a clock display Java slash v that hosts all of your um, revision details in it so let's go back to our original folder. Now we're going to do uh, co-l and then the file of your the file of your uh, that you want to edit. What this does is co means check out and dash l means lock. So this will lock the file from being edited by anyone else besides you. So now you can see here that revision 1.1 is now locked. Um, correct. Now we're going to edit it real fast. So I use Vim. Oops, definitely didn't rewrite that. So I'm going to edit it. You can see here there's a bunch of stuff here. Let's delete. Let's delete these. And now I'm going to save it. Now, 
one cool thing about RCS is it has RCS diff. Now if we go RCS RCS diff clock display, you will now see that the difference between what you used to have and the obviously revision 1.1 actually shows that I deleted these files. So that's one cool thing about RCS. Um, now let's check in our uh, clock display file. So we're going to do ci-u and now clock display. CI stands for check-in, dash U means unlock. So you definitely want to do this every time you use RCS because if you don't, then you'll be locking your friends out or your programming team out of the file. So we do that, and now we have a new revision 1.2. Um, you here is asking you for a log message. Um, you want to type what you did. So I'm going to type deleted all imports. Uh, because I did something very malicious. And you press enter, and you put period, and now it saves it. Now, if we go into our RCS um, folder and we open up our clock display um, V, it would actually show here what was done. So if you look here in revision 1.1, you'll see that me, Chuck Tori, um, I did this on this time, and I didn't do anything to it, I just checked it in. Now if you look on revision um, 1.2, it says deleted all imports, um, and it shows what is left now of the file inside the Java. So now that you have uh, a standard idea about RCS, um, Hopefully you use it. Uh, it's a really good tool for programmers. Uh, it's something that I'm uh, pretty sure any job that you get as a programmer you're going to need to know. So you might as well learn it now. It's pretty good to actually uh, use it yourself. Um, I guess with yourself, just practice it because uh, it backs up, sort of, it backs up your uh, file changes. It tells you what happens. Plus, you can keep a documentation on your files so it's good for uh, you know just version control so any questions you can post on my blog or on this YouTube video and please check out um, pacelinux.wordpress.com thank you